Hi world, Chatty Dad One coming at you today. YouTube, we have a problem, especially among those of us who are trying to promote the truth and trying to get out information that is going to be beneficial to us all. We've got a problem because we don't treat one another the way we should. When we comment on videos, we really need to comment as if the person was standing in front of us. I know that's hard to do sometimes with some of these channels that are ghost channels and some trolls. Let me tell you a secret about these trolls. I was talking to this about about this to my son and he's you know he's a senior in high school and he said dad my friends get on YouTube and do that all the time because they think it's funny to watch how furious people get and how upset everybody gets and that's what a lot of this is now I'm sure that there's other things going on that people are just being ridiculous and to those who are coming on and, and causing contention and problems I want to say this to you we'd like to get your views on things too you know we don't want to exclude anyone from having a say on our videos and uh, if we've been misled or misguided from the truth you know we want to be told especially if we're giving the wrong information but there's a proper way to do it and there's a correct way to do it which is respectful and not embarrassing there's too many pulling people out in front of others on YouTube instead of private messaging them and saying hey um, by the way I don't think you should do this you shouldn't say this you shouldn't hang with these people yada 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 there's proper ways to do things it's embarrassing to call out somebody in front of everyone and it's wrong unless they've asked for it now, those of us who promote the truth and freedom, we got a problem. This here is the most popular channel on YouTube right now. And uh, this is what we're up against. I'm just going to play just a little bit to give you a sample of what is going on and what we're facing here. Check this out. Maybe I'm a mermaid. Fucking awesome. I always wanted to be a mermaid. We both know I would be a fabulous mermaid. Hi, Trey. How you doing? Mwah. Everyone makes out with Trey. It's nothing weird. YouTube, that's what we're up against. Okay? And I apologize for the language there. But that's what we're up against, guys. So, we need to be more intelligent about these things. Our language denotes our intelligence. And if we cannot think of something better to say, then vulgarness and obscenities, then we need to learn some better words. We don't need to get on there and try to make others feel stupid and look dumb. We need to be united. We need to be true friends. You and me. Us. I mean, isn't that what it's about for a lot of us? To find others with the same views? Not to be an outcast. Not to feel like an outsider. 
but to be one of the gang, to be one of the group. Not to show up wearing the wrong colored dress, and to have all the others look down on you. We're a team. Team gets the things done. We don't need to talk bad or look down on others because of what they believe or what they choose not to believe. We need to accept everyone as a human being and treat them accordingly. A lot of people want to be famous and for YouTube that's what it is. They get their little spotlight in the Hall of Fame. Whether it's positive or negative. That's what a lot of them are out there for. People, there's going to be adversity in everything. There's there's uh, opposition in all things. No matter what you're doing. You're always going to get some bad with the good. But we've got to push through it. We've got to help each other through it. We can learn from others' experiences, from where others have fallen and picked themselves up. We can learn. We can share. As adversity helps us become stronger. When we overcome something, it's not a weakness anymore. It becomes a strength. But we really need to pay, uh, pay more attention to respecting one another. Especially about each other's beliefs and what they think is true and right. Whether it's religion, whether it's politics. You know, no matter what it is. We need to have that respect and allow them to allow us to have what we need. We need to allow them what they need. What they feel they need. Not everybody's going to believe in the same things all the time. That's not going to happen. I believe it'll happen. Personally, my belief is when Jesus Christ comes back, we'll all be united as one. But as long as it is the way it is now, we're going to have contention, we're going to have opposition. But we need to respect each other. We need to be adults about things. We need to be like our grandparents. Honorable. Respectable. People of integrity. The bickering and the quarreling, it doesn't help anyone. People like drama, so it might get you a lot of views. But it tears down what we have as truth seekers. It makes us all look bad. We need to love one another. Forgive one another. Respect one another. Because Christ said, For you it is to forgive all and to love all. Now some are so hardcore on their beliefs they refuse to look at anything else. Well, there's people like that on all ends of the spectrum. That's just the way people are sometimes. You're going to get that. Now I know that if you're anything like me, when you get a na nasty negative comment, boy my blood pressure goes up and I feel that fight or flight syndrome thing. I feel 
my adrenaline starts going, you know, boy, it gets me worked up. And I feel personally attacked. When that may not be the case at all, it may be a 14-year-old kid on the other end of the line getting his kicks. Now, Christians, some of you out there need to quit being so judgmental on people. A lot of people believe a lot of different things in this world. What works for you might not work for them. And that's the way it is right now. We're going to have to accept that. You're going to have to be the example that you're supposed to be. Not hate, not tear down, but love and build up. You can never build somebody up by tearing them down. We've got enough destructive forces working against us to be tearing each other down here. You are stronger than you think. And we want to know what everyone thinks. But we want to do it in a proper manner. In the manner that people with dignity and respect do it. Not how heathens do it and how animals carry on and fight each other and stuff. We're human beings. There's nothing like us on the earth. Now, there's a lot of stuff going on right now. There's, you know, Fukushima's poison in the world. There's this whole thing in Syria going on. There's lies everywhere. There's an army being built right here in the United States. Called Department of Homeland Security. This coming after us all. We've got way more things to be dealing with than to be bickering and quarreling. I hope that this message don't fall on deaf ears. And those who are mature will hear and listen. Those who aren't will continue the way they do. But guys, we are not going to have a second chance on this thing. We need to be united as human beings. As one on this earth. We need to be good examples to our children, to our friends, to our neighbors. We're all made of this stuff right here. When you get down under the microscope, you can't tell much difference. But you do know that you're human. And young people, you know, we need you too. Guys, research things. Check things out. You young people are smart. You have so much potential. You have so much, so many tools available to you that we didn't have. And that's an excellent thing. So take advantage of that. Use that. Use that tool. Because you can make a difference. You will make a difference. I apologize for that phone. <laughs> I should have put it on uh, don't call or do not disturb or something. But uh, I'm not going to answer it while I'm making this video. But guys, another thing I want to say is there's a lot of channels been taken down by others. Who for some reason or another feel like they've 
that they're hurting someone else or that they've violated some thing. I want you all to know that there's a lot of people out there who monetize their channels and who make a little bit of money on the side from YouTube. And you know what? It puts bread on their table. It puts milk in their fridge. It helps them buy clothing and stuff for their kids. And it might be just keeping them off of welfare. So before you attack somebody's channel just because they've got more views than you or whatever, think about it. Think how much it might benefit them to have this little bit of extra money coming in. Because we're living in a time right now when, boy, money is tight. And the worldly things of this world is squeezing the life out of everything. So every little bit helps. So think about it next time you go to try to shut somebody's channel down. They might really be dependent on this little extra bit of money to pay some bills. It might be an answer to their prayers. So let's respect one another. Let's love one another and help each other. Let's not tear each other down. Be good to one another. And be excellent to one another. Like we should. I love y'all. And I do this. Because I think that we can make a difference. I know that we can. I think we already have with the Syria thing. We're already exposing that truth. We need to keep doing so. Keep the truth coming, guys. And when you're wrong, admit it and go on. It's no big deal. We're all going to forgive each other here. I hope. I believe we will. So, anyways, until then, I just wanted to talk about these few little things, a few things to think about. There's a lot of stuff we got going on, and I hope you guys are preparing for things, because Armageddon is happening for some people right now. Right now, the end of the world is here for some people. Right now, the tribulations are in full, full force for some people. If you're not among them, you're blessed. You have a little more time to prepare. So take that advantage and prepare. It never hurts to have a little bit of a, little bit of a supply of your needs. Because inflation's going up. Things are going to happen the way they're meant to happen. And ain't nothing nobody can do about it. But we can help make sure that people know what's going on for real. So that when we all come together, we know what's really happened. So... I hope you guys are having a good day and all is well, as good as it can be for you. But let's try our hardest to promote freedom and to keep back tyranny. Because we don't need to lose what we have. We have great opportunities. And they don't hold all the cards. We outnumber them. Remember that.
Ask yourself, do you know who your neighbors are? Do you know their names? I know that I don't know my neighbors' names and I intend on changing that. And if you don't know yours name, change that. But be courteous to one another. Let's be good to one another. Do like we're supposed to. Be dignified. You guys, I hope you have a great day. And I hope that we can become more unified. And gain more friendship all the time. This is Chatty Dad 1. God bless, good luck to us all. Never give up your guns. Your rights go right along with them.